<laughs> okay, now I got it to start. I'm going to do a little video about dating coaches. And the inspiration behind this video was uh, Reg the Bad Guy. And first, let me say there are certain uh, quote unquote dating coaches that I have respect for Alan Roger Curry, of course, and uh, Ron Wills, among others. However, I have more of a problem with the terminology than what people are doing. Uh, I always say dating for me is going out, taking a woman out on a date for whatever your objective is, be it short term or long term, leading it to marriage or to a casual situation. That's your choice. Um, however, from what I observe, a lot of people who say they are they are dating coaches don't really teach dating um, how to date properly. So I think when somebody calls themselves a dating coach, uh, I'm not too particular with that term. Now, I understand if somebody says I'm a relationship coach, I'm a seduction coach, I'm a hookup coach. I'm with that. However, if you're not teaching somebody how to navigate spending their money to achieve whatever the desired goal is or to, how to, quote unquote, entertain the women or be it men if a woman will take a man out or however, how, whatever you're taking out. I don't know what you're doing. But if the objective is to teach someone how to go out, then you're a dating coach. But if you're trying to teach somebody seduction, then you're a seduction coach. If you're trying to teach somebody um, how to hook up, then you're a hookup coach. But if you're not actually teaching dating, if you're not promoting teaching a man how to date a woman, then maybe you shouldn't say a dating coach. And now I, what I will say is this, that I guess it's, it perplexes me. I don't know. I haven't really thought this through, but I'm going to try to piece it together when I talk and hopefully it would make sense. Um, you have a lot of men that want to teach other men how to date. But when I hear these men speak, I, I, I know that women would not like you. I, I'm not even going by your appearance. I'm going by the things that you say out of your mouth. I, I can't see how any man who, or any woman who hears you would be attracted to you. But that's really beside the point because all type of people like all type of various things. So what I think about you and what women may think can be totally different. Um, so I'm digressing, but I'm going to get to my point. Hopefully there's some things that matter and some things that don't. For most men and women, there is some type of criteria that must be met. And if you don't meet a criteria for the certain person you want to connect with, there's no way that you can get in a door. I mean, there's always an exception to the rule. But I highly doubt that if a woman wants to date a guy that's six foot two, that she's going to date a dude that's uh, five, six and be accepted. Just, and accept that person because they don't meet that criteria. It may not make sense what I'm saying, but please try to follow me. And if I'm not making sense beat me up by all means so when somebody says they're a dating coach i'm always thinking how much experience do you have on dating and how many how much have you been out there to be able to tell somebody how to date properly i'm not i just find people funny i can i i, I don't i could be wrong but i don't see a lot of women liking a lot of dudes and a lot of these dudes that talk about dating they may have some uh, they read some books and have some insight, but I don't think women want to connect with you. And I think this is what the problem is. Um, a lot of people are not honest and they're selling you a product, but you're not getting desired results. And it's cool if you're not guaranteeing results. It's cool if you try to teach somebody confidence, but you should always be upfront and honest about that. So that's why some people I'd really respect, like uh, Alan Roger Curry, I respect because at least he will say, hey, I can't guarantee you nothing, but I can guarantee you ain't gonna waste your time when you try to talk to a woman. However, I, even with Alan, I, you know, it's my dude, but I'm going to get on Alan sometimes because of how he uh, equates. I came up with that first type of thing sometimes because some words are just generic and you may use a generic term and you may be the first to use a term, but still the, 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 the phrase is commonplace. So you, you can't always say this is me. They created this because anybody could say it. You know, the term beta male has been around a long time. So if you just use the term beta males doing something. You can, even if you have a book title like that, and I love you, Alan, I, you, know, you probably will beat me up on this, but you can't always get mad when somebody uses that term because some people could use a term and never even heard of you. That's what I'm saying. But if they have heard of you and they know your book is out there, then maybe they should associate your name to the term they're using. But back again, I think some people should stop calling themselves dating coaches and you should say I'm a relationship coach, a hookup coach, a seduction coach, a non-waste time coach. And this is not 
any at any way directed towards Allen. It's just directed to people who say they're dating coaches in general or to try to be dating coaches. And you're not teaching dating. You're not uh, teaching men how to connect with women. Some dudes are. So, uh, you know, you're not teaching men how to go out. Like, OK, let's talk about Tom Likas. Tom Likas, to me, was a dating coach because Tom Likas told me how to go out with women, where to go, how much money to spend. This is what you should do. That's dating coaching, telling you what you should do. Now, some people probably do do that, but then they put it behind a paywall. But if you don't have any uh, testimonials of, yeah, this person taught me how to date, then how can I believe that you're a dating coach? So I think you should change the term, change it to something else. Now, a lot of people would think that you can change the way women behave. I'm going to say this. You can't change the way women behave unless you change the whole environment and the repercussions for people's actions, because I believe women want to be free. Women want to make their own choices. So there's no amount of unless you can change your physical appearance, <laughs> you can't change who you are. So if a woman doesn't find you attractive, why are you going to try to force her to find you attractive? She just doesn't like you. Accept it. It's always going to be people who don't like me. It's always going to, you know, uh, it's hard to say. I understand my brothers, I do, but too many people from the bitter man brigade are not trying to understand women are doing what they're doing because it's for their best interest. What you want and what women want sometimes are not congruent. Sometimes it's not the same thing. So because of this, many women are going to see things in different ways. There's some women that want to be with the dude and be like under a dude and some women that want to be their own person you can't convince a woman that she needs you no matter if, if you think it's true or false no, no matter if you can quote statistics or not if a woman feels that she can do better without you why would she not not be with you and if she doesn't find you attractive you know you mad that she should have chose you because you're a good man but you weren't a good man for her and maybe when she does choose you is because she can use you but you don't want to be used listen all people use each other for some way shape form or fashion hopefully it's mutually beneficial but if she's benefited and you are not then it's one way or vice versa there's a lot of men that benefit and women are not people don't want to believe it or equate that and you you put all these cold names and all these super phrases to make things way made more complex than it is but it isn't man be a, be who you are do you live the way you want to live and hope people are honest with you and i think that's my only issue when it comes to people be it men or women when they communicate that they're not open and honest with each other you should always be open and honest about what you want from someone else and i have a friend we always talk about this the reason why people aren't honest is because they don't want to uh not get what they want they feel that if if a woman told you i don't like you at all you i just want you to spend money and take me out but you would never give me physically uh, a lot of dudes would not take them out so a lot of women will never tell a dude that she doesn't like them like that and a lot of men will never say hey i don't like you um i don't want to be your boyfriend i just want to connect with you physically because they figure if i just play the game i can sneak in there you know and it's all weird to me this is all i get it though i mean I'm, that's this is where i suck because i don't understand people i don't I want to be honest with people and i think sometimes people just don't want to hear honesty you want me to lie to you so you know you don't want to hear the truth but i want to give you the truth i want to tell you the truth and that's why everybody's trying to um look like they got some secret sauce that you can't find easily or doing yourself like this is my advice for men because i'm always down with my brothers take care of yourself get yourself in a position where you are as independent as you can be and invite people in that you want you know if people don't want to come to your circle let them go you know, don't don't chase nothing unless you know you can get that. You know, what I mean? I'm not chasing no uh, prey. If I can't catch it, I'm gonna try my best to be able to have the advantage. So make sure that when you chase something, you have the advantage and accept that sometimes the hunter's not gonna get his prey. That's what I think the problem is, and that's what I hear on a lot of these spaces. A lot of men complaining because the prey they want they couldn't get, but it's not that you can't get prey. You just can't get the prey you want. And you know, I'm sorry to say, um, I listen to male men when they speak about women more than I listen about women speak about men. Because I mean, I just, yeah, I just don't want to hear the women. I don't know, but I do listen to women. But I listen to women for different things other than how they feel about men. Like if I want to know what a woman feels about a man, I will ask her myself. So I'm not going. I don't like to listen to women that I can't have a, a dialogue with. And when I listen to men, it's more for for laughter and trying to understand how other men think. Because I don't think like you do. You know, I do think that there are a lot of women that don't respect men, just like I think there's a lot of men that don't respect women. And I think people should be honest about it. And I also think that a lot of dudes should stop saying they're dating coaches because you're not a dating coach. You're more of a red pill. This is what she, you think she thinks, but you don't know because listening to you and seeing you, I doubt that you have a lot of experience with women. You haven't been around women. I don't think women like you, and I'm pretty sure women don't talk to you. So how can you tell a man about women when we all know that women don't like you? 
I'm, I don't want to name some names, but you got some of these dudes, uh, they're quote unquote red pill coaches, <laughs> red pill peoples <laughs> talking about women and no woman on this planet earth would never date you unless you had money because physically you're unattractive and your conversation sucks. You need to, put, you need to go put your head in the toilet and just drown with the stuff that floats in there because that's what you sound like when you speak, you stupid person. You see, I'm being nice. You don't know how much I can really troll people, but I don't. If, again, much respect to a lot of dating coaches, um, but a lot of people that say they're coaches and you, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't coach a flea to jump on a dog. So how are you going to be a coach? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just feel like putting it out there. I'm done being somewhat malicious, but I wasn't really. It's just what I think. Maybe you should stop calling yourself a dating coach if you don't teach dating. And give me a thumbs down if you want to, but it make it, I'm making some sense. <laughs> At least I think I am. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs>